What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Ziggy, and we back here with another discussion talk with y'all. So, it's basically like this, y'all. As you see, if you see this title, we gonna discuss about, I'm going to give you my input on this whole thing with this backlash on Jack Carlo over his song, Gang, Gang, Gang. Now, if y'all remember, I reacted to that and such. Make sure to go check it out and such. And hey, I think, cause I figured that, that this would be the first time he's actually like doing like a, st well, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say much of how it's a st first time and such. I'm guessing, cause apparently he said on like an interview or so about how he no longer feels like, he basically don't want Anytime when he's releasing a song, it needs to be like a number one or so on a billboard and such. And nine times out of ten, hey, if an artist has that type of mindset saying that if I'm going to make music, I'm going to make sure there's message in the music. Like, it doesn't have to be an, if, it, if it's not your cup of tea, cool. You can respect that. But at the same time, you got to remember, at the end of the day, you got to remember, People use music as an outlet and such. So if anyhow they want to start becoming like an artist and such, I want to give an input on their types of experiences in the world and such. Hey, who says they can't do it? So hey, apparently it's right. So and people have been trying. And the thing is, people have tried to keyword tried to cancel Jack Harlow because of this song. That just shows you how crazy it is that this whole, it's basically like this. With this whole cancel, I don't know what the heck that was. Sorry, somebody was shouting. But with this whole cancel culture crap that's been going on for a couple of years and such. But let's face it, the people who be doing all that cancel culture bull crap, motherfuckers, y'all, people like them need to get the hell out need to go on with their life because if it don't concern you why the why the hell you talking right but that's the side of the point so here's what I so in addition to that right I literally got like a comment on that video right and I screenshot it y'all probably gonna see it right around now and such where and I'm reading every single word of it so give me a second yeah so it reads saying and I'm just reading how it's saying. I mean, Jack Harlow has friends in every race, especially his own. Plus, I don't think that this was his intention in his other video. They don't love it. Plus, also in one of his interviews, Jack said he no longer feels a need for his songs to be a number one hit on the radio. Instead, focusing more on storytelling that relates to his upbringing. There's another track called Ambition. That, and it says that it goes to his mind state. It go the track ambition goes through the mind state he had throughout each stage. So and also this person. So shout out to Cora Gay, Cora Gray, sorry, forty seven ninety four. He also went to state that saying. Also, by the way, the song that dives into the nature of his friendship with people who've done awful things he questions the intent to which you can go on supporting a friend and their problematic actions the song paints a haunted picture using distortion distorted vocals for the chorus of gang gang as jack gives examples of his closest friends closest childhood friends going down dark roads in their adult lives but basically i know if y'all want to pause it and such you can and read the whole entire thing for yourself but honestly, basically what that song talks about, because honestly I never thought of how to, because if I never said it in my first initial reaction towards it, now that I'm reading that comment and such, it kind of gives it a good intro, like good like introspective of how you got to watch out who you're friends with, because you never know that your, ch your childhood friend, the friends you've called like your brother, like your sister and so and so, you never think they would do such crazy things like that because the fact that when because within the first like 
first like verse and such right where it goes like about how his friend named Marcus and such like their childhood friend Marcus yeah the Marcus who we grow up da 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 that the fact that we went on to saying about how the he grabbed he got he rolled with some women and such and he I'm gonna say for the word grape if you know if you know what that is grape them and such all you gotta know is with the G take off the G and you know what that word is but yeah but the credit it's just the fact that I hear the fact that I was hearing something like that and such that got me off off guard because I would never think like Jack would go into like a storytelling vibe but hey shout out to that com shout out to that person who commented on my reaction to that video and such and in a way this is why I feel like like bro because let's face it a lot of artists are always going to want to make number one hits and such which is cool and all right there's nothing wrong with that but at the same time you got to realize you got a you got a following of people who listens to your every music listens to your every who watches every action you do whether they're going to have to check you or whether it's basically all right i know i'm saying a lot and such but hey this is just off the dome whenever i see a topic that's going on and such hey i want to come comment on it but what i'm trying to say is if if you're an artist, right, and you got a following of million, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people, they're gonna listen to your every music. They're gonna judge you on how you move and such, whether whether it's musically or just as as a person and such. They're gonna judge everything that you do and such. And if we're gonna go into the music genre of it, right? Hopefully I'm talking loud enough for y'all because there's a bunch of noise going outside right now. Matter of fact, oh. Oh, Sorry y'all. Yeah, I'm doing this reaction in my bed, so what? But yeah, but what I'm trying to say is like... Basically... With an artist... They're, they're gonna judge your, your fans are gonna judge everything that you do from their music to what you do as a person because let's face it with the social media you know people are always gonna try to find a way how to either give you praise or try to cancel you and such so with this whole thing with Jack cuz and cuz people were trying to say about how Jack Harlow is riding with certain friends it's basically saying like ride for my dog because in the course where it's saying ride for my dogs like, die for my dogs and all that but if you really listen to what the lyrics are actually talking about like I said shout out to that person who commented on my reaction for his, to that video where in a way if you really think about it now it gives you a different perspective of how you gotta watch who you're friends with because you never know that that childhood friend you grew up with in search could automatically go down a dark path and such to do some crazy out of control things that you would never in your million years expected them to do so that's why sometimes you hear them all they always say keep your circles keep a small circle around you well you know if they've said that it's my saying I'm saying that that's why most of the times with me in my personal life I try to make sure I keep a small circle because I don't want to be friends with everybody because that's basically we are not all we're not always going to be friends with everybody in the world but the friends who you are genuinely with and such from whether it was been with, whether it's been with a year with a five years or from childhood and such hey either way you got to make sure they have the best interests not a, not only you have the best interest in them, but they have the best interest in you. But hopefully, that hopefully y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. Cause let's face it, at the end of the day, when it comes to music, you always gotta have a message in your music. That's why I mostly feel with artists and shouldn't be. Well, that's just my opinion of it. Cause like I say, there is nothing wrong with wanting to get a song that's on the radio and such that makes you want to vibe out and such because with the human experience 
people are always gonna wanna get lit, get turned up and such because they're always coming from a hard day of sorry, makeup's going crazy. Hard day of work and such. Always wanna just wanna forget about daily get about certain problems that's going on in their life in that one specific moment with that whenever they're hearing a song that makes them really want to get want to get lit and such want to turn up people are always gonna want to forget what's happening and such as soon as but as soon as when that song turns off they remember and such but at the same time though like I said with artists you gotta make you gotta remember that your fans some of them die-hard fans, they watch every moment of what you do, music-wise and person and like media-wise or whatever. And they're gonna wanna, or just even your haters and such. But your haters is your haters. They're always gonna find ways. But regardless of that, watch how you move and watch who you friends with, cause you never know that one minute your childhood friend who you've known for many years could end up being this terrible person that does these sorts of things to not only women but to kids too hey I don't care how long it's basically like this the minute your friend starts doing something like that cut that off right then and there so hey it's good so I'm glad that I reacted to that and such and I'm glad now with, with just now with that comment and such I'm getting a different perspective of it so hey Best be on the lookout for more reactions to Jack Harlow and such cause now that he's focusing more on doing like a storytelling of his upbringing, hey, you know I'm already gonna be for it. So y'all let me know what y'all thought about this whole situation with Jack Harlow, with this whole backlash over Jack Harlow's song, gang, gang, gang. And y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Homo Ziki signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Lego.